Hello and welcome. In this video, we will discuss about two interesting and versatile control types that are a part of the add local sizing task in ANSYS Fluent Meshing Water Network. These are the body of influence and the face of influence that are generally referred to as BOI and FOI respectively. We will learn in detail what they are and how they can be used. Then we will discuss on how to properly include them in a geometry during the CAD phase and prepare the model for the meshing phase. Ready? Let's get started. POIs and FOIs are respectively closed three-dimensional bodies and open surfaces that have a specific influence on the volume mesh size inside a domain. BOIs dictate the maximum cell size of the mesh region that falls within their boundaries, while FOIs dictate the maximum cell size in the vicinity of their surface. BOIs and FOIs help define what regions of the mesh should be refined and they will not be a part of the final computational model. This is very useful since they can be added to any existing geometry at the CAD stage, removing the need to decompose the domain into multiple regions to then specify local face or body sizing. BOIs and FOIs do not need to conform to the model geometry. They can include, intersect or just be inside the geometry or other BOIs and FOIs. It is important, however, to place them where a refinement is needed to properly resolve the problem physics like regions of large velocity gradients in the field, wakes or shear waves. Before using BOIs and FOIs for meshing, it is extremely important to prepare the model at the CAD stage. Let's explore how to do this correctly using an example. Start a new session of ANSYS Discovery and open the geometry file provided for our example. Here we have different bodies, a BOI and an FOI in yellow and the main geometry in green. We can see that the geometry is split into two fluid regions and each region has a solid body in it. The BOI is a cylinder that intersects the spherical body and extends behind it. The FOI is a cylindrical surface behind the short duct. Note that BOIs and FOIs can have any shape. When a geometry has multiple regions or bodies, it is often useful to apply shear topology to have a conformal mesh at the interfaces, namely a mesh that shares the same nodes on both sides of the interface. However, the BOIs and FOIs must not be connected to any other body, BOIs or FOIs, so they must be excluded from shared topology. A good practice is to have all the geometry bodies in a separate component and put all the BOIs at the top level of the assembly, so they won't be detected when applying shared topology. Also, Hiding or suppressing the BOIs before performing the shear topology operation would avoid their detection. For FOIs, instead, it is suggested to hide or suppress them before applying shear topology to the model. Go to the Prepare tab and then click on Share to activate the shear topology. The red regions highlight the overlapping interfaces of different zones. You can verify that the red highlighted regions do not include the BOI or FOI, then press the green check mark. Then show or unsuppress the previously hidden or suppressed objects. In the structure tree, you can see that only the geometry component has a pink stripe. This indicates that the shear topology has been applied for the parts of this component. Note that the position of BOIs and FOIs with respect to the rest of the geometry or the shared interfaces would not affect their behavior. Save the file and close ANSYS Discovery. To recap, BOI and FOI are solid objects and surfaces that can be added to an existing geometry during the CAD phase and then used to refine specific regions of interest in the model during the meshing stage. They are useful when dealing with complex models 
since they remove the need to decompose the geometry into multiple regions to then apply different local sizing while meshing. However, particular care must be taken before meshing to make sure that at the CAD level, the BOIs and FOIs are not connected to other bodies and excluded from shared topology if applied. With that, we have come to the end of our video.